The time has come. We're going to the Elemental Data Center once again. And you might be wondering, why are you going back to Elemental? Well, there's a certain server called Tonbury, and that's where all of the cool people hide. Now, this is where most people come to craft, I think, and we're going to show just what I mean there. So here we are, we're on Tonbury, finally logged in on this very blonde-looking version of Mione. It, it kind of looks a little bit like a cheap knockoff Mione. I need to fix that at some point at the esthetician. But here we are, let's see if we can actually zone in then uh, to the actual firmament on this server. My keybinds are all completely like broken at the moment, considering I've not logged into this character on, uh, on this server yet. I think we totally missed the event, but that's fine. Oh my god, look, we can see already how far it's progressed. So I don't believe this is at the final stage. So as we can see here, uh, yeah, so this is ridiculous. Look, the last one they were on was step five. That's just incredible, isn't it? So let's go and see what stage five slash six looks like then. Because obviously, you know... The big thing about this is that it's ever-changing, and each stage looks very different. So this is, gives us... Oh my god, it's it's even unlocked the Hoarfrost Hall. So on my server, Ragnarok, on Chaos Data Center, we haven't even got access to the Hoarfrost Hall yet. Oh, this is going to be fun. Oh, this is going to be a lot of fun. Wow. Okay, I don't remember the houses looking as beautiful as this. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? So let's hide the UI just for a second. Actually, ooh. Oh, key bindings. Ooh. Oh, that's not nice. Uh, a. D. There we go. So as you can tell, we're doing this a little bit live. So what's this then? Is this... This is the Sky Steel Manufactory. Oh, sorry. Sky Steel Workshop. Presume you can't go in here. No. Ooh, interesting. Right on schedule, Chief. So there's all sorts of things going on here. So that's over here. As... One of the main points of Featherfall. Like I say, on our server we haven't seen this yet. Do you require more supplies? This should suffice for the time being. That's a lot of supplies, holy moly. So, also, in addition... This is something I've not seen yet. How cool is this? They're starting to build this other building. So this is supposed to be... Like Featherfall is supposed to be a commercial district, if I remember correctly. So these should be all like workshops and shops and things like that. It's really cool to see it at this stage, actually. Like, look at that. They've got the foundations in. Obviously, you've got your floorboards in. It's snowing, which isn't going to be too good for those timbers exposed, but they look treated enough. You've got, like, a little ladder. It's really cool to see it at this stage, actually, because I don't think you really, you really get to see housing in this sort of state. I kind of wish that... Um, Final Fantasy XIV had a similar housing system that to Arcage, not for its like instance-based stuff not existing and it just being in an open world, but rather the progressive building of it. Because in that game, you could see the buildings like slowly build up as you applied more materials to them. Like, look at that guy hammering away. <laughs> He's his thumb. That's fantastic. That little animation up there is like dun 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 hits thumb. Yeah, wow, he keeps doing it. That's. Or she, I can't tell from down here. But uh, yes, that's quite funny. So the Ishgard restoration is full of little things like that. So before we go up straight to Hoarfrost Hall, I want to check out the rest of this. Um, especially close to the ma uh, where we link to the Matic. I've just realized that isn't sprint on this particular setup. Never mind, we won't sprint then. Wow, my goodness, look at this. That's one heck of a view, isn't it? Oh my goodness. All of these buildings, everything's nicely cleaned out. All of this exposed stone, we've got little buildings built into the side of the steps there. We've got presumably what's going to be a statue at some point. That's fantastic. Is that going to be of Ralga or something? Or Heloni, right? Wow. This is mind-blowing. So again, this is Tonbury on uh, Elemental. And, uh, oh wow, look at all this. I'm very impressed with how far they're ahead. They are going to be finished first, like I say. There's a lot of Australians, I think, on this server as well. Which is cool. Shout out to everybody on Tonbury. You've done a fantastic job. Keep it up. 
I'll be checking up on you when you've done, but I thought this was worth doing a video on. Somebody said, oh, are you going to come and check out Tonbury's progress? Obviously, there's a lot of people eager to see. So these are lampposts, look. They come in like a kit form with all of these little bits of metal. That's nice, isn't it? That's very cool. Oh, we can actually go in this plot. Excuse me, sir. Don't want you to drop your timber. Wow, what is this building going to be? It's huge. I suppose you need everything, really, for like a commercial district. Is this going to be a, like a replacement to the Jeweled Grosier then? Because the Jeweled Grosier is kind of eh. Oh, they did build a bridge then. That's beautiful. Oh, that's fantastic. I was worried it would just be a really small wooden bridge. But they've actually built a bridge over to the Matic. Look. So as to what this is going to be used for in the future, in terms of the actual restorations place, I'm not really that sure. Other than having maybe another, you know, custom, uh, custom deliveries client perhaps, and some other bits. I really hope that they find use for it, add some shops or something, I don't know, anything really, I would say. It's fantastic. So yeah, we've got a bridge here, and it seems we've also got bridges over at the Abacus as well which is somewhere I've not seen before, linking to St. Roel's Deus, or Dias. There you go, look. So at the back here, past all of these other buildings that are, you know, quite chonky. These are some chonky buildings, actually. Is there any dialogue between you two? Yes. Now what do we need here? Well, probably people to build it. I see that we're all stocked up. Yes. Y you do that. Brilliant. Um, Great dialogue, by the way. And then down here, you've got these sort of like flower beds down here already. Lovely, lovely, lovely. The staircase on Ragnarok, we've just finished this area. Um, we did that on stream the other day. So there's these areas here, these stalls. So presumably that will be a custom deliveries client, maybe. And like some other vendors, repair vendor maybe. What, what's actually missing from this area? We've got a dye vendor. I guess just stuff, right? Just stuff in general. So since we're here, I think we should go... Um, let's go look at the Abacus, since it's literally right around the corner. Ooh, my uh, my character's mail has just decided to update. I've got a lot of that stuff's account bound. Oh, I don't think we can get over there just yet. That's unfortunate. So they're in the process of building this bridge then, look. So that's the current stage they're on, is building the bridge back to St. Royal's Deus. Because as you can see, there's a massive hole where a dragon smashed it to pieces many, many years ago, presumably in the Dragon Song War. So, very cool. That'll be a nice quality of life thing. And there's Hoarfrost Hall up there, which I presume they haven't got close to completing yet. You see, this is the sort of thing I'm looking for, like these slightly at weird angles plots. Look at this dude! Carrying what appears to be like half a ton of stone. It's not even one piece of stone. Oh my god. That's a lot of stone for one man. <laughs> my goodness. Right, let's go and have a, a wee look around. Let's have a look up here, shall we? Oh wow, you can really see uh, the manufacturing in that place we saw earlier. Much clearer from up here, can't you? Oh, it just, it's so cool, isn't it, to see buildings like that. It blows my mind, you know, to think how cool it would be if you could see your house, your own house in this game being built up from scratch like that. But it's nice to see. I really like that. It's just quite unique. So, look, that's the stuff in the distance that we did before. That's where you, you, you know, you go to see your Sky Builders board. So much has happened since then, hasn't it? It really has. We've got a, a sky, field, sky, yeah, sky Steel Workshop. We've got whatever this building will be. We've got a walkway up here. Little statue thing, probably, of Halone or something else. Three mysterious massive buildings here. Then we have ourselves some stalls over there and then access to that part. This place is huge. I love it. I absolutely love the restoration. And then as we turn around here, oh my goodness. It's the gift that keeps on giving, isn't it, Ishgard? Wow. Absolutely beautiful. So let's go check this bit out first. So this is the back corner, let's call this. There's a friendly NPC. So this is a stockpile area with some snow. Plenty of places to throw your snow snowballs. 
I don't know what this will be like when they're done with the restoration. Hopefully they put some planters here or something, a few statues or something. Yeah, this is all of our collected materials then, isn't it? Basically being put to use. And they make a clanky noise as you walk over them as well. That's fantastic. Lovely. This is a big build as well. Wow, that's, that's something else, isn't it? That's a very large plot. This could easily be like a stable or something, or I don't know what else it would be. Some kind of like super factory. It's one of the biggest plots in the entire place. In fact, I think it is the biggest plot. Wow. Let's see. We still need to stock up on... What, what do you need to stock up on? And it's a never-ending question, isn't it? And this guy's just brought wood over and then decided that they don't need that wood after all. Like, you're just wasting your time. And they wonder why we're doing all of the work instead of the NPCs. Well, it's because they just ferry stuff around. And he's like, oh, I brought the blocks you asked for. Yes. Bye. Have fun with the timbers, friend. Where are you going to put this block? I'm curious. Go on. Where are you putting that block? <laughs> Will he actually put the block down? Most likely not. He's like, oh, here's the blocks that you asked for, Mr. Blocks. It's like he's communicating with the blocks. And he's like, oh, I see you've got enough already. Yes, we've got blocks at home. We don't need those. <sighs> what is even going on with these NPCs? It's, it's a great illusion of things happening, but my goodness, is it a bit weird. So behind this one, I think there's just a massive gaping hole. Yeah, that's a big hole, actually. Wow, look at that. That's cool. So that's Hoarfrost Hall, I think. Is that what that is? So what exactly is Hoarfrost Hall? I don't know. I am very curious. It has piqued my curiosity. That seems to be like the final part of this restoration anyway. Excellent. No delays here. This stone serves as well. Why are you sat on top of the stone? Oh, look. This is our fella. He's like, does this place need stone? No, no one no one needs stone now. We need people to build it. I'm pretty sure this guy's just walking around pretending to be helping, but he's actually just doing a workout. He's one of those guys, yes. More bits of metal spiky stuff. What a beautiful view. Wow. That's a pretty cool view. Damn. Right, we're we're messing around too much. Let's carry on. I want to see Hoarfrost Hall. Oh, we can't see it anyway. All right, okay. So as much as this looks like we can go there, and then there's the abacus, which is this section, which looks to have those sort of like griffin, dragony statues. So whatever Hoarfrost Hall is, it's like a chamber of command or like commerce or something. Could it be, I don't know, market board stuff? Could it be a bank? Could it be just like, could this be the new like home of their grand company? I don't know. It's a good question, isn't it, really? But there we go. That's pretty much Tonbury's progress um, so far. What a fantastic... What a fantastic bit of progress you guys have made. I do like visiting servers. I would visit others. Um, but definitely, I find that Tonbury seems to be on point. It's a good reminder to everybody then. But it would be cool if we were all at this stage. Now, there's a lot of crafters on Chaos that could easily replicate this. You're letting our side down. <laughs> what am I saying? You're doing great. But uh, Tom Bree, you guys are pulling it out of the hat. I can't wait to see the finished product. And um, you seem to be the guys that are going to do it first. So congratulations. And uh, I look forward to look forward to, um, to seeing its completed form. Sorry, I had to drag emotes to my bar because I don't have them. Uh, pre-selected on this character but thank you kindly for watching this video I'll do another update when we have finished with the Ishgard restoration to see what it looks like in its entirety but get hyped I love this it's fan just frankly amazing it just feels like an ever-growing city you know it's, it feels alive so anyway enjoy the rest of your day let this be food for thought get crafting and I'll see you all next time hopefully on a better looking Mioni clone that's not got blonde hair and not white ones. But anyway, see you later. Bye-bye.